Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will control four appliances with Google Assistant or Google Home using the Node MCU. For this project, I have used Arduino IoT Cloud platform and of course, I have used their free plan. So after watching the complete video, anyone can make this project. Before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. First, let me try to control this first lamp with Google Assistant. Turn on switch 1. Here you can see the first lamp is on. Now let me open the Google Home dashboard and from here let me turn on the switch 2 which is second lamp, third lamp and fourth lamp. Now all the lamps are on. Now let me try to control this lamp manually with the push button and here you can see I can also control the lamp from the push button. So if there is no internet still you can control it manually with the push button. Now although I have made a complete circuit without using any PCB but I will always recommend you to design a PCB for any electronics project and here I have designed this PCB for this project. You can download the GAWA file and you can also design your own PCB using the LTM PCB designer software. Now LTM came up with an amazing product called LTM 365. LTM 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. The mechanical team can also access the PCB files so they can parallelly work on the mechanical product package based on your PCB design. And there is no chance of losing design data with the automatic backup and centralized cloud storage. It also helps you to manage your components and get real-time supply chain data for all the components. It also allows multiple people to work on a single project and finally you can send your product to manufacturing with a single click. LTM 365 automates all of these tasks for you so that you can focus on making something creative and useful. To make this project, you just need a Node MCU, relay module and some push buttons. Then connect all the components as per this circuit diagram. The circuit is very simple. These push buttons are connected across the GPIO pins and the ground. And here I have used active low relay module. So to turn on the relay, you have to give low signal to the respective control pin. Now I will quickly configure the Arduino IoT Cloud platform. So let me go to their website. You can find a link from the description. Then I will click on sign in. If you are new to this platform, then just click on create your account. Then create an account with this platform. I already have an account. So let me log into this platform. Then here I am using their free plan. So I will click on get started for free. Now first we will create a thing. Then under that thing, we'll add multiple variable as a device. So I will click on create new, then select thing. And under the thing, we'll add four variable to control four relay. So here you can see this is cloud variable. Now first, let me rename the thing. I'll just click here, then select rename. Let me give the name node MCU relay. You can give any other name. Now in the thing, first I will configure the smart home integration. So I'll click on configure button. And here I want to control the relay with Google Assistant. So I will select Google Home. If you want to control with Alexa, then select Alexa. Then click on got it. After that, we will add four variable to control four relay. So let me click on add give the name i am giving switch one for the first variable then i will select the variable here i will filter it with google as i want to control the relay with google assistant so i have selected google here then here i will select switch then the variable permission will be read write and variable update policy will be on change now i will click on add variable so accordingly we will add another three variable quickly so here you can see we have added total four variables switch one switch two switch three and switch four now we will select a device for this thing so i will click here then go to device here i am creating a new device if you already have a device previously you can also select that but here i am creating new one so i will click on this plus icon create new device then select third party device then select esp8266 select the model node mcu 
1.0 click on continue give a name to this device say node mcu relay you can give any other name now it will provide device id and secret key this is very important just click on download pdf to download it we need these details in the code then check this box click on continue then done now i will again click on this icon go to things select our things node mcu relay then i will click on this select device button then select the node mcu relay which we have just created so here you can see we can see the node mcu relay under associated device now we will quickly configure the dashboard so again i will click on this button go to dashboard then i will create new one so click on this plus icon if you want you can rename it let me give the name node mcu relay then click on add button make sure it is under edit mode then click on add button select a switch with it give the name switch one for the first relay then i will link the variable switch one select the thing then you can see the variable under the thing then click on link variable then click on done accordingly i will add another three variable to control total four relay so our dashboard is ready i will exit from the edit mode just click here now this is the main sketch for this project let me open the sketch with adeno id you can also download it from the video description for this project you have to install the esp8266 board and then you need to install this library you just have to copy the name go to library then search with the name then you have to install the library and while installing it may pop up install all dependency then click on install all to install all the dependency related to this library after that we have to enter these details so we have just downloaded the pdf while creating the device node mcu relay so this is the device id i will just copy it from the pdf then go to our sketch then paste it here then here i have to enter the wi-fi name then the wi-fi password after that we have to enter the device secret or device key again i will go to pdf and this is the secret key i will copy it then paste it here after that these are the gpio pins for the relay and switches then this is the variable name which you have given while adding the variable under thing switch one switch two switch three so if you give new name to the variable you have to change the name accordingly in the code so wherever switch one is written you have to update that name with new name which you have given so if you are giving same name switch one then you don't have to do any change in the code then if you go through the code you can easily understand how it works still if you get any problem you can always ask in the comment section now i will upload this code to our node mcu so I will go to tool, select the board as node MCU01, then select the proper port, after that hit the upload button. Now we will quickly connect the Google Home, so let me open the Google Home app, then I will go to settings, then select works with Google, then here I will search Adreno, then tap on the Adreno tap on continue it may ask to log in to my adreno cloud account so let me enter the email id and password for the adreno cloud then tap on sign in it may take some time so here you can see these are the device i will exit from it and if i tap on the device tab here you can see switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 after connecting the google home i can easily control the relay from the google home app as you can see and I can also control the relay using the IoT remote app by Adino IoT Cloud. So let me turn on some relays with the IoT Cloud app. And I can also monitor the real-time feedback. So here you can see if I turn off the relays from the push button, I can monitor the real-time feedback on this IoT Cloud app. So this is a very useful project. Anyone can make it after watching this complete video. So if you like this project then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.